Today we're going to be unboxing the Dream Life Workbook. Now this is a planner I found on Etsy. I don't know why, I have never done a planner unboxing of anything on Etsy and I don't think that's on purpose. I think I just keep looking for the big names and we're at the point now where I'm like recycling them each year and they're not really changing. They're pretty much the same from year to year. Uh, so I literally just randomly picked a planner. I went onto Etsy, I scrolled through to like page 20 or whatever. I picked the first planner I saw. I just closed my eyes and pick one. Uh, so today we have the Dream Life Workbook. So I guess I should call it a workbook. It's not really a planner. It's meant to be a journal. Definitely doesn't have any dates in it, um, but it has these pretty little gilded edges. And I thought we could just check it out and see what's out there. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings and product reviews on Saturday. Now this Dream Life Workbook was $39.95 plus shipping. It came from Glendale. It didn't take that long. I think it said it was going to take like three weeks, but it ended up getting here in two weeks. And I know what you're thinking. How far is Glendale from here? I don't know. I think it's like maybe a four, five hour drive. Um, but you know, I'm not going to go drive to pick up a notebook. Uh, this was what else can I tell you? It came USPS, so nothing fancy, uh, which is fine. I understand you're a small Etsy shop, um, but let's just go ahead and take a look. Came in this super plain, unmarked, white, padded envelope thingy. So we'll just cut it open over here. And where's the opening? Okay. And inside of here, it looks like we have some tissue paper with a sticker for the Lamar. And then we have just some plastic on top, which I appreciate. Let's open this up. All right, we have the Dream Life Workbook, and I will tell you the measurements of this. It is about a little over six inches wide and eight and a half inches tall. It has, it looks like gold foiling, but I think it's just kind of a yellowish color. Um, we have plan and live your best life. So just a little half vase looking thing. Receive your free printable best month ever. Go to the Lamar.com. And here's all of their social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and their website. Now I bought this off Etsy, so I didn't realize that they had a website. And a few words from us. So a little thank you, the Lamar team table of contents, uh, take a look back, working with your dreams, setting goals, self-care, let's take action, and then a quote page somewhere, there is a past you overflowing with so much pride, looking at how far you've come, take a look back. So this has sort of a, like a brownish mauve kind of look to it. Um, let me push it out. Uh, 20 whatever year was, and then you give your year a rating out of 10. Highlights and accomplishments of the year, my challenges and lessons. So just a big book of questions, it looks like. I will start or stop doing, and then we have where are you? Um, this actually isn't bad. I'm not a big fan of these hardbound planners, but this one did a pretty good job with being able to lay the pages flat so far. And it has this gold um, gilding on the edge. And yeah, and there's no, oh, there is a bookmark. Okay, so let's just keep going. So different areas, money, personal growth, um, new focus. And then we have another mauve brown page, start where you are, working with your dreams and goals. Write down the result, not the process. Yeah, write down the end result, not the process, which is very counterintuitive to what we hear, but that's okay. Uh, dream list, dream wheel, and there's that wheel thing that I never really know what to do. I'm not good with these like spatial things or whenever people are like, create a mind map. I'm like, uh, why don't we just make a spreadsheet? <laughs> so uh, reversed dreams, dream list, uh, working with fear, more fear, blank page, 
blank page, blank page, blank page. Um, nope, that's it. <laughs> Limiting beliefs. Um, what you focus on expands. So you're supposed to just come up with your own limiting beliefs and then change them into empowering beliefs over here. And then we have action steps for all of your dreams. Letting go. Um, those who do not believe in magic will never find it. Setting yearly goals. Oh, I know. Did you just barf a little when you read that? Smart goals. Um, let's go on. Nothing worse in this world than goal setting. Uh, and except for smart goals. The whole, like having someone explain to you what smart goals is. That's, that's probably the only thing worse than goal setting. All right. Self-care. Uh, things I will stop do less of. Other self-care routines. Um, bucket list. I'm not a fan of bucket list. It just sounds so morbid and depressing. Um, learning list, uh, spending list, movies list, weekend list, adventure list, inspiration list. And then you can make up your own kind of list. Oh, there we go. Oh, we actually have oh, two bookmarks, not one. And then we go to the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. Let's take action. And then we go to reflect. Uh, so we have, again, a yearly overview, and then we have, I guess these are months. You just put the, the numbers in here. It's a really tiny space to write in. Um, and then I guess you could put stuff here. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, I really do like this setup. It's just so teeny tiny. I would need at least eight and a half by 11, if not nine by 11. All right. So here is your month, your goals for the month, and then each week. So... Another monthly review. So, oh, this is the end of the month. What worked, what didn't work. Um, your overall rating for month. How'd you feel this month? What are your highlights of the month? Goal, results, progress. How can you improve next month? Next month. What is holding you back? And then you got a little four blocker here of what's urgent, what's important, not urgent, not important. So this is a little back. Usually these four blockers go this way, not this way. Um, so usually the bottom quadrant is your urgent and most in your important. Um, but I get it. Uh, this is very much like the Franklin Covey system, if you've never done the seven habits. And we got some blank pages. And then we do, it looks like a rinse and repeat for the rest of the book. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, so we have some things at the end. We have some project plan pages. And, oh, those are all the same. And then some blank pages. Right? Yep, just blank pages to the end. Get a quote. Um, and that's it. So you have the Lamar on the back and those two bookmarks. So what did you think? I loved her fonts. I loved that she had some color in there, but nothing overwhelming or crazy. I like that it had different shades of that. I guess it's like a rose, pinky rose color, um, and that the edges were gilded, and she had tried to put some uh, personality here, and then it has two different bookmarks. Um, and hardbound is always less expensive to produce than spirals, which I know sounds counterintuitive, uh, but I think it's all the punching of the holes and the wrapping of the spiral. I don't know. I'm not really sure how they calculate those costs, um, but I think A plus for doing a really quality uh, job on this. I would say probably not an A plus on the packaging, but that's okay. I think that was a way that she was able to keep her costs down low. So lots of cute stuff out there in Etsy. Super excited to keep doing these uh, and just randomly picking out a planner. If you have a planner on Etsy that you would love to send me, I would be happy to review it. Uh, so I hope you are having a fabulous day. And if you would like to create your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free course, Planner 101. I will leave a link to that below. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. I think I already said that. I guess I just doubly wish that you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next week. Bye.